Hey everybody, it's Carl. Welcome back to the kitchen. It's been a long time since I've done a video. In particular, it's been a long time since I have done a cooking video. Uh, life happens and just hadn't really felt like making one. Uh, until recently, I uh, got a new kitchen gadget that I want to show you guys. I've been doing a lot of uh, meal prep, cooking my food for the week because we stay pretty busy at work. I work a 12 hour shift. Uh, two days on, two days off, three days on, three days off. So I don't always feel like cooking. I work from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. So um, having my food ready helps a lot. And I'm really, or I have been really trying to uh, eat better home cooked food. I know I've said that in videos before, but uh, I'm, I'm really trying to stick to it this go around. Um, mostly because my back is a wreck. Um, if you watched one of my last shaving videos, I mentioned it. I've got degenerative disc disease, which is a form of arthritis in the spine, and the doc said I need to lose about 100 pounds. So for the past, I don't know, four, three months maybe, I've really been trying um, hard to eat well and not eat out and, and uh, cook my food at home, like I said, and it's working. I think I've dropped almost 30 pounds so far, so that's a good thing. But on to the bulk of the matter. I'm going to be doing some meal prep today and I have a new kitchen gadget to show you. Um, so let's take a peek. And it's a uh, turbo convection oven. And I'm sure you've probably seen uh, the infomercials for something similar, Flavor Wave or New Wave or whatever. And I actually bought a New Wave not too long ago and I loved it. But because of my clumsiness and the fact that my apartment has very limited counter space, I dropped the head of the unit which would be this part right here and it actually landed in the sink that was full of water so it kind of crapped out or I thought it crapped out and I went and bought this. Uh, turns out once the new wave dried out it was great but I still have this. I'm not willing to take it back just mostly because I'm lazy and when I was shopping for the new wave I didn't know which one was a better product. A convection oven, this is actually a halogen oven and the new wave is actually a true convection oven. It doesn't cook with halogen. So I didn't know which one was better. I took a chance on the new wave because it had a lot of good reviews and it worked great. Now I have this and I can actually compare them. So I may do some of those videos in the future. But anyway, I'm gonna do an unboxing on this. We're gonna get it cleaned up and then I'm gonna cook some food. So let's, uh, let me set the tripod up and we'll see what's, uh, what's in it. All right, so just a real quick overview before I open the box. It's a uh, Mainstays Turbo Convection Oven. It claims that it cooks about 30% faster than your regular oven. And I'd be willing to bet that's because you don't have to wait for it to warm up. Uh, once you turn it on, and it's going to get to that temperature and it's going to start cooking right away. Uh, it says you can cook from frozen, no thawing needed. It says it's easy cleanup. And it's a 12.5 quart capacity. Spanish instructions there. Uh, let's see, 1200 watts of power in the head. It's got an extension ring so you can cook bigger items. 12.5 quart capacity, comes with a baking rack and it's a dishwasher safe bowl. And like I said, 30% faster. So let's take a look at what's inside. Comes packed up pretty nice. So it opens it upside down. So we'll get it turned over. Alright. Maybe I didn't have it upside down. Alright, so let's get the head off. So here's the head. It's got a quick cook guide. This is the power on and off switch. It's got a safety lever, countdown timer, and a temperature setting. Looks like it is only lists Fahrenheit. So that's the head. Let's see. Fan and one halogen bulb. Pretty simple there. 
instruction manual. I'll read through that here in a minute. It may have some recipes, it looks like some suggested cooking times. Comes with a set of tongs, which is actually kind of cool. That wasn't listed on the box. And two baking racks, which is actually pretty similar to the way the uh, New Wave oven came. So you can cook multiple things at different levels. A uh, real glass bowl, as you can hear. Which comes off of the base. Set that aside there, hopefully it doesn't fall. And this is the base, which is plastic and aluminum, it feels like. And the extender ring as it all comes out. All right, so let's get it set up. It's nice that it nests all together to make it easy to store. So I imagine when it's all said and done, something like this and there you go it actually looks like a pretty nice unit um, you know it's a $30 convection oven they're probably all pretty similar and I've seen them ranging in price online from a hundred plus dollars to about 50 or 60 this is actually the least expensive one actually I take it back I've seen them as low as 45 this one I found locally, like I said, at Walmart for $30, uh, super deal. And I was in the market at one because I thought my new wave was broken. So anyway, I'm gonna read through the instructions. We'll get it cleaned up and washed and ready for use. And uh, we'll get cooking some dinner. All right, so I got it all cleaned up and uh, dried off. I was flipping through the old instruction manual and said before the first use, you should run it at high maximum temperature for five minutes to burn off any uh, oils or packing uh, residue around the halogen oven. As you can see that light comes on that's what produces the heat and you can hear the fan so it cooks through heat and convection. Um, unlike some of the other turbo ovens or convection ovens they don't use the light they just have an element and it cooks through convection of heat. Um, if you listen close you can hear a ticking. That is the timer. Uh, one thing I noted about the timer is if you overshoot your time, you cannot turn it back. It's basically an egg timer. Um, so we'll let that cook off and then I'll get everything ready. And what I'm going to be cooking for dinner today is I'm going to be doing a little uh, pork tenderloin and some yams. So roast pork tenderloin, roast lambs. And according to the instruction book, like I said, it comes with a cooking guide and it tells you how long to cook things uh, based on the food category. And so for a pork tenderloin, it says I should cook it at 450 degrees at 10 minutes per side and that should cook it to uh, well done. And the potatoes, it says for baked potatoes about 41 minutes. So probably what I'm going to have to do is put the potato in first, cook that for about 20 minutes and then put the pork loin in and go 10 minutes per side. Everything should come out done around the same time, hopefully. Uh, it's all a test, so we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna let this finish doing its thing, and when we come back, I'll be cooking, hopefully. All right, so let's have a little taste here. Got a piece of the meat, it is tender and juicy. Um, it's cooked, tastes good. Got just a little bit of uh, bark or crisp on the outside. Uh, juicy and tender on the inside. So, here's what I gotta say. Mainstays halogen convection turbo oven. If it's something you wanna try, uh, if you're looking to cut down on space, um, you want a backup oven, say for example the holidays are here and you're going to be cooking a lot of food, this would probably do the job. Did it do everything it said it was supposed to do? 
Not as fast um, as advertised, in my opinion. The cook times may be a little bit off. Um, my pork loin was supposed to be done in 20 minutes. It took me about 30. Um, the potatoes actually cooked right on time, which was good. Uh, it's also supposed to steam, bake, roast, grill, blah, blah, blah. I will continue to play with it and see how it does all those things, and I'll keep you guys updated. Um, final thoughts? Buy one if it's something you're interested in. It, it works. Uh, it may take a little finagling, a little practice, a little playing around with, but I think it's uh, worth the money if it's something you're interested in. For me, I'll use it. Um, because I do my meal prep one day a week, usually for about four or five days. And this way I have multiple ways to cook. I can have something roasting in the oven. I can cook something on the countertop at the same time. It saves me time doing batch cooking. So for me, so far it's worth it. Guys, thanks for watching. Have a good day. I'll catch up with you next time.